the vocalist, guitarist and songwriter for multi-award winning band The Feelers, James Reid has already established himself as one of New Zealand's most successful songwriters and musicians. Their 25th anniversary tour took place earlier this year and James joins us now to talk about his own music. It is great to have you on the show. Yeah, so good. Welcome James. We should clear out the fact that before we were kind of, I Mike know, was kind of making a joke about the fact that, oh, it's James, it. have you left The Feelers? But you're saying you haven't left The Feelers, Well, no, obviously. I just don't want them to find out this way. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know let's break it to the knees. Yeah, yeah. Guys. Look, you guys, you're dead weight. We let's had, just put it this way. We had you know? 25 years, <laughs> but it was fun, history. but, you know. Yeah, we've had the anniversary <laughs> tour, it's all yeah, over. Let's just, let's just deal with it now. <laughs> so, and that, at that anniversary tour sold out, didn't it? Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, it was great How did it feel tripping around the country knowing that there's that much love for The Feelers? Well, it, it, once again, it's just uh, so brilliant having such massive support, mm. you know, from a fan base that's uh, stuck with us for years and years and years, and we can still go out and have fun. Yeah. And everyone knows and, the words. And <laughs> also, you probably have the fans and the fans' kids coming along, yeah. too. Well, there is, it, it is actually multi generational, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah. my God, we're all so old. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I, haven't I haven't even started yet. Wait until I come, <laughs> once I come back in my Zimmer front. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a few more songs up my sleeve there. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so you're going, so you're just doing a solo project at the moment. So you're still part of the feelers? Yeah, it's not still just banding. We've yep. still got the feelers. And it's just another element to your creativity. Yeah, I just, I've, I've got so many songs, I've, you know, in different genres and different ways of doing them that I, I want to yeah. still have them out there for people to listen to. So how does that work? Because, I mean, you songwrite for the feelers, obviously. So what, mm. is your, what is your solo stuff? How is that different? Uh, it's stuff that Hamish doesn't want to play. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you know, no, 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 not, not in that respect. It's just uh, sometimes I want to go and do something a little bit, a little selfishly, you know. Yeah. And sometimes they I mean, Saint was a, a, more of a story. Right, it was 2013, you know? was it? Yeah, which, is a, yeah. which was a while back, but that one it was a project record that started at Song 4 with Raised by Wolves and then sort of comes back and then resolves itself at track three right you know and so it's a story you know and then with the new one um it there are a lot more sort of different different psychology about how i view the world yeah you know and we're going to hear a bit of that at the end of the show which i'm really looking forward to but also you are an artist as well i did not know this yeah. about you Yes. And he's yeah. good too yeah. you are yeah. good so how did you fall into that is it something you've always done uh yeah well i did that um, originally before I did music, got, did music before wow. we got signed. Yeah, I was at Fine Arts in Canterbury. Wow. Yeah. So when did you go back to it? Uh, I've always been doing it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So I've just always sort of been tinkering away on painting and stuff like that. But it's uh, it's only recently that um, a friend of mine said, well, you should probably do an exhibition. And I was like, oh, okay. And so, yeah, so we've, I've done a bunch of stuff. It, it's pretty hard to see because it's reflection because it's got a... Oh, well, you've got an exhibition coming up soon, haven't you? So made a suit out of something not too uh, similar yes, to that I, too, which I is amazing. Yes, I have made a suit out of it. I should be wearing the jacket at the moment. You should be. That's an opportunity. Miss James, no, next no, time. I'm aware of that. Next yeah. time. And what do you get out of the art? I mean, obviously it's visually appealing, but is it mm. sort of therapy for you as well? Oh, it, anything that's creative and, um, as Tash was saying, anything that's inspiring makes you go to a different level uh, mentally. Yeah. You know, and anything that's sort of changes your breathing process and cathartic and all that sort of thing. I love it. Yeah. It, it's always good for you. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, thank you so man, much. James. Yeah. Um, and you are going to be doing some, some dates around, which I should mention now, actually. James, thank you for joining. Yeah. Waving my pen at you. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> uh, James is going to be performing in Tauranga next Saturday in Gisborne and Napier later in the month as well. You can keep an eye on his Facebook page for further tour dates. Uh, make sure you check out his new single.